Welcome to Nicholas 11 x 12 Today I've got the chance to review some DDR4 RAM. In this review I'll be taking a look at the Apacer Panther 16GB DDR4 2666 memory. So basically 2666 MHz. According to Apacer their Panther RAM is part of their mainstream lineup and therefore is meant for the mainstream gaming system. By that they mean platforms such as Intel Skylake. According to Apacer this is budget oriented memory, the pricing unfortunately at the time of this video is unknown. I should let you know that the memory of the Panther series is only packed with a single module, which means you're basically buying single channel RAM per kit. Once you combine two kits you obviously are getting dual channel memory. And same thing with quad channel. Thanks a lot to Pacer for sending me two 8GB modules that result in a total of 16GB. In the packaging all there's inside is the memory module and that's all. So first of all I should let you know, the Panther DDR4 RAM sells in a variety of frequencies as well as in 4, 8 and 16 gigabyte capacities respectively. In my case a pacer sent me two DDR4 8 gigabyte modules which of course result in 16 gigabytes of dual channel memory. The frequency is at 2666 megahertz with a cast latency of CL16, 16, 16, 16, 36 which are pretty tight timings I'd say. At a low voltage of just 1.2 volts these are some energy efficient modules. As expected, XMP 2.0 supported, which makes setting up the RAM in the BIOS dead easy. In terms of aesthetics, you know, that's basically the main factor besides pricing you look at when buying memory these days. Well, these Panther modules do look good. Sure, the design, the looks is and will always remain a thing of preference, but it's clearly visible a pacer put effort into the design of the heat spreaders and I like the result. The gold and silver claw shaped heat spreaders are an eye catcher, although I've personally seen similar looking ones in the market. Still there always are differences. The color scheme I believe goes really well with certain motherboards. At just 1.2 volts the memory of course doesn't really run hot, but it's nice having heat spreaders nonetheless. It also gives us headroom for overclocking, although I wouldn't really recommend doing that, mostly not worth the hassle to risk stability. A pacer claims they meticulously screen the ICs in order to provide the best performance and stability that's nice to hear. So yeah, beautiful RAM, good specs, but now let's install the modules into my system. Sure, in my case with my red and black MSI motherboard, in terms of colors the memory doesn't really fit in, but I don't care too much about that anyway. And setting the RAM up in the BIOS is that easy too, thanks to XMP. Just enable XMP, save the settings and you're good to go. And now let's take a look how well the Panther RAM performs. Alright, as you and I have expected there isn't much of a difference noticeable when comparing one DDR4 kit with another, at least not in that mainstream to high end segment. What I can tell you is that good performance is offered. We're definitely talking of fast RAM here that well is good for video editing, rendering, gaming and basically everything else. This Panther memory runs cool and perfectly stable. I mean it looks good, performs well, runs stable, what else do you want? Unfortunately I can't say much about the price performance ratio since I currently don't know how much a kit costs, but I'm assuming it's good. With that said I can definitely recommend the Apacer Panther 16GB DDR4-2666 memory. Although the price is unknown performance wise it clearly deserves my silver award. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to sometimes see videos there earlier.